Jinko, Silfab, Qcells. Which is the best brand of solar panel to install for your home in 2022? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past nine years, I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge, you're gonna find all things related to home renewable energy systems, uh, battery backup systems, and sometimes even generator backup systems as well. Uh, you'll find product reviews and comparisons, uh, a lot like today's video here, where we're gonna be comparing the top five solar panels in 2022. Now, before we get into the comparison, I'd actually like to make some overall comments of what's been happening in the solar panel industry here in the United States. Um, the biggest trend that I've seen is that the solar panel manufacturers have abandoned uh, size standards. Now, it used to be when I got started in solar, if you were doing a residential solar system, you would use what was called a 60 cell solar module. And a 60 cell solar module, just about every time, was about 65 inches tall by 39 inches wide, or maybe add an extra inch on each dimension to allow for the mounting brackets. But basically, you could design a system based on dimensions of 65 inches tall by 39 inches wide, regardless of which brand solar panel you chose. What we've seen over the last year or two is that now the solar panel manufacturers have abandoned the size standard. Um, all of the modules are slightly different shapes and sizes. And so I think the focus has been on how much power can I get out of the panel as opposed to uh, actual module density or cell efficiency. So what you're gonna see in this year's lineup is a lot of higher power output solar modules, um, many of which are physically larger than their counterparts from two, three, or four years ago. With that, let's get into the comparison. All right, coming in at number five on the list is the Jenko Eagle 410 watt solar panel. And the main advantage with the Jenko panel is it's cheap. Uh, in fact, I mean, I could go through some of the features that are listed here, like uh, five bus bar and mono perk cells, but that would have been news four years ago it's pretty much a standard, standard capability now. So the real advantage in looking at the Jinko panel and why the Jinko panel has made it on this list is if you're absolutely looking for the lowest price per watt solar installation, Jinko is a great brand to consider. Uh, it doesn't really offer anything special in terms of performance. I mean, it is a tier one panel, so it does meet all the necessary requirements for use on the grid, but it doesn't really offer anything that special in terms of performance or aesthetics. You'll notice it is a silver frame module. It's not an all black module. So here are some cases where you may want to consider using the Jinko panel. Uh, if the solar panels are going to be on the rear of your home or on a roof surface that's too tall for you to be able to see it from ground level. If you don't care what it looks like and you're just looking to get the best bang for your buck in terms of price per watt, then the Jinko Eagle is an incredible value. Uh, the other application is for ground mounted systems. Uh, most ground mounted solar systems still use the silver frame modules, even though most roof mount systems now, most homeowners prefer to have an all black module on the roof. But for ground mount systems, which in most cases you're going to have a, a silver color metal frame that's supporting the ground mount, uh, using a silver frame solar panel is no problem. So if you're looking for a solid panel uh, from a top tier manufacturer, and I should also say, Jinko is one of the largest solar panel manufacturers worldwide. So if you're looking for a financially strong company, the Jinko panel offers a great value here. Now I should also comment about that because many homeowners ask me about the financial strength of the company when it comes to whether it's panel or battery manufacturers. But one of the things you want to look at is not just the financial strength of the manufacturing company, but also the financial strength of the installation company. Because if you ever do have to make a warranty claim, most cases you're not going to be calling up the panel manufacturer, you're actually going to be calling your local installer that did the work, having them come out and make repairs, and then the installer will make a claim against the manufacturer's warranty. But in summary, if you're looking for a, an excellent value, low price per watt panel, uh, it's hard to go wrong with the Jinko Eagle. 
All right, coming in at number four on the list is the Silfab Elite 380 watt all black solar module. Now, if you're looking for a great value module to mount on the rooftop of your home, and you're looking for a module that also has excellent aesthetics with the all black on black design, then the Silfab Elite is probably gonna be the panel for you. Uh, there are really no frills here in terms of special technology or performance, or at least nothing that's different than other standard panels in this range. Um, but it is going to offer you an excellent aesthetic panel. So when you have those panels mounted, it'll just look like a sheet of black glass on the roof. Now this is a 66 cell form factor panel. Uh, so again, it's not as large as some of the 72 cell form factor that we're going to look at a little bit later, uh, but still offers a uh, high power output at 380 watts per panel. And in terms of cost, the Silfab is generally going to be a very cost competitive product. Uh, Silfab is a made in North America product, so it is a tariff exempt product, uh, and it offers a 30 year performance warranty. So that's the Silfab Elite panel. All right, coming in at number three on the list is the QCell QPeak Duo G10 400 watt solar panel. Now, QCells is actually the number one most popular brand for residential solar panels here in the United States. Uh, and the thing that makes QCells unique is what they call quantum technology. Uh, and what the quantum technology is, is that on the back side of the solar cell, they apply a, a, a reflective paste, what they call the quantum reflector, which is actually allowed uh, or is able to capture a portion of the sunlight that otherwise would have passed straight through the cell and hit the rooftop. It actually reflects it back out the front of the cell, um, able to capture up to 5% more energy when compared to a standard solar cell. So when you look at the Q-Cells panel, not only do you get you know, the, the excellent black on black aesthetic design with the quantum technology, you are able to capture more energy out of the same surface area, uh, particularly on days with overcast weather. You're, you're going to find that your energy harvest is a little bit higher than with a standard solar panel. Uh, and you know you're getting the backing of a solid company. Again, as I said, um, Qcells has number one market share in terms of residential solar panels in the United States. In fact, if many of you are looking at quotes of different solar panels, likely you've received one or two quotes using the Qcell solar panel. It's actually the same brand that I use on my home. Well, folks, if you're in the process of getting quotes for solar power installation for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote or if, if you just need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting a good deal, um, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll just uh, take you to our website where you can chat with one of our system designers here and see what options and what pricing might be available for you. All right, coming in at number two is the REC Alpha Pure Black 400 watt solar panel. Now REC is considered a premium panel for a couple of reasons that I like to go over with you here. The first is the warranty. You see, all solar panels have, or at least all tier one solar panels that we offer, uh, have a performance warranty that will generally go out to 25 or 30 years. But there is a, a degradation, there's a steady degradation in performance over the course of those 25 or 30 years. So a standard solar panel will generally offer you at least 80% of the rated power uh, in, the, in the year, the terminal year of the warranty. So let's say, you know, a 400 watt solar panel, if you've got at least 80% of that in year 25, that should be putting out, if my math is correct, at least 320 watts uh, of power. Now with the REC panel, their warranty guarantees at least 92% rated power. In fact, if you look at the spec sheet here, you'll see that the REC Alpha Pure Black offers 92% or more of initial rated power in year 25. And so if you're looking at solar as a long-term investment, and if you're moving into your forever home, or if you plan to be in your home for the entire 25 year of the warranty term of the system, then you might wanna take a look at a panel that's going to give you more overall power and less degradation over the total lifetime of the system. Now, the other thing that sets REC apart from some of the other uh, standard panels is its low temperature coefficient. And so what the temperature coefficient is, is it's how much, how much power do we lose? What percentage of power do we lose for each degree Celsius above the ideal temperature? Now, for those of you who have seen our previous video on how much solar power should I expect, 
you'll know that solar panels are rated at two different, uh, in two different conditions. Uh, the first is called standard test conditions, or STC. Uh, the standard test condition rating is basically perfect ideal conditions in a laboratory. The, the, the light source is applied directly perpendicular to the solar cells, and the temperature is kept cool at 25 degrees Celsius. But of course, in the real world, that's almost never the condition that the solar panel is going to operate in. So you also have what's called a normal module operating temperature power rating, which is a closer approximation to the real world conditions in which the solar panel is going to be operating. Now, on a rooftop, especially depending on, on where you are watching this video, but if you're in one of the southern states like Arizona, Nevada, Texas, or Florida, uh, ambient temperatures on the rooftop could be 130, 140 degrees in some cases. And, and so solar panels, just like any other electronic equipment, as the temperature rises, the, the performance and the efficiency goes down. So when you see a solar panel that has a low temperature coefficient, in the case of the REC Alpha Black 400, it's 0.26%, or basically a quarter of a percent per degree Celsius above the ideal temperature, uh, what that means is that a panel like this is going to hold up better under extreme temperature conditions, or you're going to have loss, lo less energy loss uh, due to temperature conditions than you would when using a standard panel. So again, if, if you're in one of the southern states or a state that ex experiences extreme high heat at certain parts of the year, again, I would say Arizona, Nevada, Texas, Florida, any of those states, then the REC panel may be something that you want to take a look at. In terms of cost, the REC panel is slightly higher cost than a standard panel. Uh, if you're looking at price per watt, I would say expect to pay 20 to 30 cents per watt higher price for the REC panel. But what you are getting with that is the better extreme heat performance and the 92% top, top tier warranty. So that's the REC Alpha Black 400. All right, and coming in at number one is the Aptos DNA 440 watt all black panel. Um, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the solar panels are getting physically larger and more powerful in terms of power output. And Aptos right now is on the top of the list for residential solar panels. With the Aptos panel, you get the nice aesthetic all black on black design. It is a nine bus bar design, so it does provide more paths for electrons to flow within the module, helping to mitigate shading loss. Uh, but the really unique thing about Aptos is its extreme weather rating. Uh, the Aptos panel right now has the highest wind rating of any solar panel that we have available for residential at 210 miles per hour. Uh, and it's also designed for environments with harsh conditions like hail impact. So again, if you're watching this in, in say like Texas or Florida, where you have whether a hurricane threat, you've got a hail threat, you've got a tornado threat in some cases, uh, having a panel that's built for those extreme conditions, including extreme high winds, can be an advantage for you. Uh, the Aptos panel also comes with a 30-year performance warranty. So again, most tier one panels will offer at least a 25-year warranty. Uh, Aptos offers a 30-year performance warranty. Uh, and the reason we put it number one on the list is because there, there's really not much of a price premium to pay for this. I mean, you are gonna pay a little bit more than you would with a generic panel, but we're talking about a less than 10 cents per watt price difference between a generic panel and what I would consider more of a premium option with the Aptos 440 watt all black panel. Well, folks, this has been a comparison of the top five solar panels for your home in 2022. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we have on the channel, please go ahead and click on that thumbs up button. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, we're trying to make sure that you guys have the best product information out there so that as you go through the process of going solar, you make sure that you choose the right equipment for your home based on your goals. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of getting quotes or if you already have maybe quotes and you want to get a comparison quote just to make sure that you're getting a good deal, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the website below there. It'll just let you set up a short Zoom call with one of our system designers here, and we can talk through what the options are and provide some pricing for you. Well, folks, I thank you for taking some time to share with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.